Hey guys, in this particular video of MS Word course, I'm gonna teach you how to use track changes option and all the options available in track change settings. So let's get into the video without any further ado. So guys, let me just tell you the meaning or basically the use of track change option. Basically, let's say, let's say you have created a document and you are uh, sending that particular document to someone else. Let's say you are in a corporate office and you are sending that particular document to your juniors so that they can change the things, change the content according to their preferences, right? But the thing is, you want to track all these things, all the changes they have done, right? And how you can do that or how you can track those changes using track change option. So where is, the, is that track change option available in MS Word? You have to go to review tab and review tab, you'll be able to see this tracking option, right? So I'm going to show you, basically, I'm going to teach you all these tracking settings and these changes settings in this particular video. Right. So there are many use cases of uh, track change option because you can track the changes. So whenever you are creating a particular document and whenever any person changes in that particular document, you'll be able to track that thing that this person has changed this thing or this uh, content, this word in this particular document. Right. So this is how track change setting works. Now, let me show you how you can use these track changing or tracking options, right? So first you have to turn this option on in order to track uh, the changes. For that, just click on this and here you'll be able to see two options. The first one is track changes and if you click on this, now the track change option is turned on. So whenever there's a change in this particular document, you'll be able to track that particular thing. Now here we do have simple markup means whenever you are changing the thing, you'll be able to see a thin line in that particular paragraph. Let me just do, do some changes here. As you can see here, I have just added some extra content here, some extra content, right? Now you'll be able to see that there's a thin red line that denotes that there's a change in this particular line, right? And let's say I'm changing in this some changes right as you can see there's again a thin line over here now you might be thinking that using this method i'll be able to know that there's a changes in this particular line but what is the change in this particular line so for that you have to go to all markup so when you uh, turn this all markup on you'll be able to see these content are changed right Basically, this content has been added. Now, you'll be able to see all these properly that this content has been changed or added or deleted. Just you have to wait or you have to watch this video till the end. You'll be able to understand properly. Now, the third option says no markup. So, if you select no markup, there will be no uh, markup. Basically, this will not show anything that the, uh, you have made any changes in the content, right? So that whom you are uh, giving the content, whom you are providing this particular document, they can, uh, they don't able to recognize that uh, the track change option is applied in this particular document, right? Then we have the original content option. Original basically the content which you have used when you have turned this track change option on. Now you might be thinking that anybody can change basically any, anybody can turn off this option. So what is the use of this track change option? So let's say if I just click on this, the track change option is turned off. So if I'm providing this particular document to someone else, to uh, my team, to my juniors or to my colleagues, so they will just turn off this setting and they'll be able to do changes without any guidelines or without any restrictions. So what is the use of this? So there is a security which you can use, basically you can add a password here, right? Let's say, again, I am turning on the track change option. As you can see, track change option is turned on. Now, let's say if you want to add a password, basically if you want to log this document so that nobody can track, uh, turn this option on, off, right? So for that, you have to click on this. Now, if you want, you can add the password. Otherwise, if you just, hit the OK button, your track
track change option is locked now as you can see nobody will be able to turn this option on off but you haven't added the password so if you click on this lock tracking option and your lock tracking basically your lock has been turned off because you haven't added the password right so you have to add the password first you have to uh, turn the track change option on then you have to add the password let's say i'm adding the password right now i'm adding simple password one two three four four five again one two three four five so i've added this password i've hit the ok button now nobody will be able to turn this option off without entering the password right so that's how you can use the track change option now you what you can do is you can just select the no markup option so that nobody can see that there is a track change option turn on in, in this particular document and you can just save this document as it is right let's say i'm saving this particular document for that i have to go to files save as and i'll be saving this document in my desktop and i'm giving the name dummy 2 right i've just saved the document okay right so the document has been saved now let's say i'm just sending this document to anyone else and they have made it made some changes in this particular document let me just do those changes so that i can show you i'm going to pause this video so that i can do the changes and then i'll be showing you that how i can track those changes so guys as you can see i'm in my desktop now as you can see uh, the document which i have created now when i open this document i'll be able to see all the changes which i have done here right here you'll be able to see my name because i have changed these uh, things from my account itself but if someone else changes from their account you'll be able to see that particular name here right that they have made a changes here now if we go to review tab here is the tracking option right now it is an all markup if you click on no markup you'll be able to see that uh, the no markup which means you'll be not able to see uh, track the changes right basically you'll be not able to see the changes or what are the changes they have done right exactly then we have simple markup which tells you that where you have the changes but you don't get the exact points then we have this all markup option right all markup option basically tells you that what are the changes have been done in this particular content right as you can see here it is uh, saying that uh, here's a format change uh, what is the format change we have basically changed the format this into italic right then here we do have added some extra content here we do have some added the changes then here we do have uh, bolded some content then here i have some added some content so as you can see it is showing different different things basically all the things it is showing that what are the things it is showing let me just show you here it is showing comments then deletion and insertion and formatting so all these things it is showing but let's say you don't want to see the comments basically you don't want to see the comments you are not considering the comments so let's just turn off the comments and you'll be not able to see the comment changes basically where the comment has been added you'll be not able to see that right so it is totally up to your preference that what are the changes you want to see now if you want you can uh, uncheck this box as well insertion and deletion so if you uncheck this box you'll be not able to see that what is the what are the insertion and deletion has been done in this particular content then we have formatting option so if you don't want to see the formattings you can uncheck this box as well so it is totally up to you that what are the things you want to see or what are the things you are considering right now right so i have turned this all option on then we have let me just close this one then we have this here balloons so balloons is basically these this uh, sidebar where these boxes are known as balloon right so if you click on show revision in balloons so you'll be able to see if there is any revision you'll be able to see the revision in balloons as well right now if you want show all revision in line now if you check this box you'll be able to see all the revisions in the line itself basically in the content itself as you can see here here you'll be able to see right here then here you'll be able to see right then uh, let me go back 
then we have show only comments and formatting in balloon right now you will be able to see only comments and formatting so you will be not able to see deletion and insertion right so that's all uh, but i'll be preferring this one right show revisions in balloons then we have specific people so you can give access to the reviewers basically right now we, i do have the access of this document that's why it is showing me specific right now if you have multiple people so you can add basic if you add the password then you will be able to uh, add yourself as a reviewer right now let's say what are the changes i have been done let me go to reviewing pane here you will be able to see that what are the changes have been done in a structured manner as you can see line wise line you will be able to see all the changes right so whether you want to go horizontally or whether you want, uh, want to go vertically you can check those things here right so basically you can review all the things one by one right in one go in a structured manner now once you have reviewed all the things now you might be thinking that uh, i want to accept this thing i don't want to accept this thing i don't want to accept this i want to reject this changes so how you can do that for that you have to go to changes option right so previous and next is basically to uh, change the selection basically change the changes you have done one by one you will be able to select that particular thing right as you can see here one by one you are able to select the changes all the changes and you can go uh, previous as well now the accept and reject option is turned off right now and why it is because we don't unlocked the document yet so for that you have to unlock the document first so let me just click on lock tracking let me add the password hit the ok button now as you can see the accept and reject button has been turned on now let's say you want to accept this option right basically accept this change so for that you have to go here accept the change now it is uh, if you want to click on drop down menu you can drop down basically accept and uh, move to next accept all changes accept all changes and stop tracking so these are the options available but if you directly click on the button itself accept so this particular option will be accepted right then if you want to reject something let's say you want to reject this this one right so for that you just have to reject and this will be rejected as you can see then if you want to reject this one as well just click on reject and this will be rejected right as you can see the comment has been gone there is a comment in this particular word but i have rejected that's why the comment has been gone now now let's say i want to accept this one so for that i have just have to click here and it will be accepted right so that's how you can use tracking option and changes option and you can properly track changes all the changes which have been done in your document right so i hope you understood the process properly and if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button and if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself and don't forget to share this course with your needy friends who want to learn ms word in an effective and efficient way and with that said i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye